Hi, I'm Hope Campbell, a flow cytometry specialist from Blood Research Institute at Blood Center of Wisconsin. Hi, I'm Stramanti Basu, a graduate student in Dr. Bonnie Detail's lab. I'm also at Blood Research Institute of Blood Center of Wisconsin. Today we're going to be doing a procedure isolating cells using fluorescent activated cell sorting. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study the function of lymphocytes and myeloid cell populations. Let's get started. In this procedure, B and CD4 T cells will be purified from mouse splenocytes. The starting number of target cells should be calculated based on the number of cells needed and the recovery rate of the machine. Using this method, the typical recovery rate for B and CD4 T cells is 85 to 90 percent. The starting splenocyte population is approximately 60 to 70 percent B cells and 20 to 30 percent T cells. Thus, if you start with 100 times 10 to the 6 cells, you will be able to recover 50 to 60 million B cells and 20 to 30 million T cells. Before beginning facts, the solutions and reagents needed for the protocol should be placed on ice. These include staining buffer, consisting of phosphate buffered saline with 3% fetal calf serum, suspension buffer, consisting of 25 millimolar hepes prepared in Hanks Balanced Salt Solution, or HBSS, containing 3% fetal calf serum, a 25 millimolar HEPI solution prepared in fetal calf serum, staining antibodies, and compensation beads. This protocol also requires the following supplies and reagents, 15 milliliter conical tubes, 12 by 75 millimeter polystyrene or polypropylene flow tubes, a nylon cell strainer, tripan blue, and a hemocytometer. Sorting collection